So, Congressman Mike Gallagher of Wisconsin, who leads the House Select Committee on Strategic Competition between the United States and China uh, and, and the Chinese Communist Party, and Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy of Illinois, who is the ranking member of the Select Committee, are both here to discuss this bill. So, thanks for joining us, guys. You know how popular TikTok is. And in sort of the grand scheme of things, when you look at all of the risks we are facing, you know a lot of people are going to say, TikTok? Really? How big of a threat could TikTok be? I think allowing the Chinese Communist Party to control the dominant news platform in America is a massive threat. Um, it is an act of self-sabotage and national suicide. And to the president's point last night at the State of the Union, I would say we can't compete effectively with China if we allow that basic ownership structure to continue. And the good news for users of TikTok is that they can continue to enjoy the app post dance videos, communicate with their friends, as long as we change the basic ownership structure. The final thing I would say is the president mentioned China's unfair economic practices. Well, as a matter of fairness and reciprocity, TikTok is all over the American market, but American social media companies are not allowed in China. So we must insist, as a matter of national self-respect, on some basic reciprocity. Okay, but still, specifically, what threat are we what should we be fearful of? What is the specific threat that you're concerned about? Well, there are two sources of the threat. So just for your viewers' sake, the, the owner of TikTok is a company called ByteDance. ByteDance is a company that is controlled, beholden to the Chinese Communist Party. In fact, the editor-in-chief of ByteDance is the secretary of the Chinese Communist Party cell that's embedded in the leadership of ByteDance. Yes, they actually have a CCP cell at the top echelons of the company. Two sources of threats. One is that the CCP through ByteDance has access to massive amounts of personal data of Americans. And ByteDance has used this in nefarious ways in the past, including targeting journalists. The second uh, nature of the threat is uh, ByteDance routinely manipulates the algorithm to suppress content critical of the CCP and amplify content favorable to them. And so you see just a weird mix of news and um, kind of a distorted version of what's going on in the world because of the ownership structure that's in place right now. Uh, Congressman Gallagher, I want to get your take on uh, something that the uh, former president, Donald Trump, uh, posted on Truth Social during uh, the State of the Union uh, while President Biden was speaking. The former president saying, uh, uh, I don't want Facebook, who cheated in the last election, doing better. They are the true enemy of the people. Uh, he says that uh, banning TikTok, um, arguing that Facebook is the real threat. Here's the, here's the post. If you get rid of TikTok, Facebook and Zucker schmuck will double their business. Um, so we know, Congressman Gallagher, that uh, the former president did sign an executive order trying to get uh, TikTok to uh, remove themselves from, from ByteDance, as you are trying to do. Um, but what do you make, what's your response to this now seemingly reversal from the former president? Well, the good news for the former president is that the bill doesn't foist an outright ban of TikTok. And the president, were he to get reelected, would have an opportunity to make the deal of the century as someone who fashions himself as a deal maker, which is to navigate the transition of uh, TikTok away from ByteDance's ownership to an American-controlled or an ally-controlled company. And in that scenario, I think everybody wins. And so my hope is that the president will stick with his original impulse, which was to tackle this very uh, concrete national security threat posed by ByteDance's ownership structure. I would also say every single national security official in the Biden administration has warned about the national security threat posed by TikTok under its current ownership structure. That's what we're trying to get at. Not a ban, but a separation. Think of it as a surgery designed to remove the tumor from the patient and thereby allow the patient to survive. I think sort of another question is where do you stop this? Um, you know, TikTok is one, and I know we've certainly seen bans on Huawei um, for similar reasons because of security concerns, um, telecom company uh, based out of China. But then where do we go? I mean, do we sort of research the parent company of all of these apps to find out what they're doing with the data and whether or not there's a connection to the Communist Party? Well, this particular bill identifies ByteDance as kind of the exemplar of a... Uh, a company that is beholden and controlled by the Chinese Communist Party with tremendous influence, outsized influence 
on um, American news and, and, and the social media landscape. Other than that, however, this gives the authority to the president, whether it's a Democrat or Republican, um, to basically identify uh, in the future any other social media apps that are controlled or beholden to a foreign adversary and then make determinations and proceed uh, in the manner you know, similar to what we're calling for here. But again, this, you know, this particular case is kind of the poster child for uh, our concerns and, and our constituents' concerns. One last thing I'll just mention, and Mike talked about this yesterday. You may, you may know about this, but uh, when we uh, announced in the Energy and Commerce Committee that there was gonna be a markup to yesterday, TikTok actually had a push notification and a pop-up asking all of its users or requiring all of its users to call their member of Congress on the Energy and Commerce Committee and, and lobby them uh, against what they called a ban of TikTok. Well, it turned out that most of these push notifications went to minor children. And these minor children were flooding our offices with phone calls. And basically, they'd pick up the phone, call the office, and say, what's a congressman? What is Congress? And they had no idea what was going on. Probably the parents obviously didn't know. But this is exactly the reason why so many of our colleagues voted for the bill. They don't want a foreign adversary controlled social media app using geolocation to target minor children to call members of Congress or interfere in our elections. This is exactly the reason why this, this particular legislation is necessary now. Geez, I don't even think minor children are supposed to be on TikTok. That's right. What's Not going supposed on? to be. Uh, <laughs> Congressman uh, Mike Gallagher and Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.